We turn now to a vote 2022 update. The future of the 49th Assembly District, it's up in the air as Assembly elect Lester Chang's eligibility is now being questioned due to residency issues. News 12 John A. Caldwell has more from a rally in Diker Heights where the community is pushing for Chang to keep that seat that they say he rightly deserves. The votes of the people, 7,424 people, must be respected and not overwritten and canceled by politicians up in Albany. Controversy in the 49th Assembly District as the future of its leadership hangs in the balance. This as Assembly Democrats consider blocking Assembly member elect Lester Chang, saying he may not have moved to Brooklyn in time to hold the seat. He won this election fair and square. Lester won! Lester won! Let him sit! Today, dozens of constituents stood outside of Assembly Member Peter Abani's office saying they want Chang, who they elected, to serve in the seat come January. This community needs to be represented by the people that voted him in. He won. The people have spoken. Someone else may come, oh, I don't like that result. I'm going to do another one. This is a total disrespect of democracy. A body has held the assembly seat since his election in 1986, but lost to Chang in November's general election. Chang won 52% of the vote, and now voters who support him say it's time for a change. This guy needs to go. We have no police over here. The stores are getting broken into. The stores are closing down. He does nothing. The state's constitution requires candidates to live in the county they would serve for at least a year before the election. According to reports, Chang registered to vote in Brooklyn in February, but was previously registered to vote in Manhattan. I don't care if the guy lived in, in Manhattan. As long as he's willing to do the job here, I'm fine with it. I just want someone who's going to bring back the police, bring back security, and, and clean up this neighborhood. News 12 has confirmed from Assembly Speaker Carl Heasey's office that an Assembly Judiciary Committee hearing will be held on December 19th to review Chang's eligibility to hold this seat. If the Assembly votes that Chang is not eligible, Governor Hochul would then announce a special election, although we're told a body likely won't run again. In Diker Heights, Johnny Caldwell, News 12. Johnny, thank you. Now we did reach out to Chang's office for comment. We're still waiting to hear back.